Hi, my name is Emily Coxie and I'm with Pittsburgh County, Oklahoma 4-H Club. Today I'm going to do an instructional video over how to build an art bot for the 4-H Inspire Kids to do activity guide. So, we're going to get started. First, what you're going to do is you're going to take a cork and a tongue compressor and you're going to get a piece, about a 3-inch piece of tape and you're going to wrap that cork around the tongue compressor. So you want to make sure that you don't wrap it right in the middle. You want it to be the side so that the weight will be off. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your DC motor that you have and you're going to poke a hole in the cork, not where the tape is, on the outside of the tape. After you do that, you're going to take the cork back off since you're just making a hole. Next, you're going to use your box cutter and you're going to use it and you're going to cut two about a half an inch holes on the side of your cup and a hole on top of your cup where your DC motor and your wires will fit through. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a 9 volt battery and a piece of tape and you're going to tape it inside of your cup. Like so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use your DC motor and your wire connector and you're going to twist them together. And you're going to set that back down because that is not ready to go back into the robot. Now you're going to take three markers and you're going to use two pieces of tape on each marker and tape them in a triangular formation around the cup. These tape pieces only have to be about two inches long instead of three because you don't want them to wrap completely around the cup so you can still decorate your cup later. Okay, now what you're going to do is now what you're going to do is you're going to feed the wires through the cup. And you want to make sure whenever you are going to test it, that your two wires, your red and blue, both wires are not touching because that will destroy your connection. Now you're going to test your connection with your battery to make sure your battery is still working. So, whenever it does that, that means that your battery is still working. Okay, so now once you have feeded your wires through your cup, you're going to use a hot glue gun and you're going to glue your motor down so that it does not fall off since it gets a little rough whenever it starts up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to place your cork back on to your DC motor. The last step is you can choose to decorate it or not. So what I have is I have two googly eyes and some pipe cleaners. So the pipe cleaners could be your arms and your googly eyes could be your eyes. So this is what's going to be your finished product. And what the finished product is going to be is your, it's going to be able to draw. So your last step is to take off the caps on the markers. And you're going to connect your battery. And so that is your finished product and that's how you're going to learn to draw an art box. Now, club leaders, to make it easier on your students, you can use a kit and you can put all your supplies into this kit just in case they do not have time to finish this project. Once again, my name is Emily Coxie and this is an instructional video over how to build an art bot for the 4-H Inspire Kids to do activity guide. Thank you.